Thursday, investors were shredding and clawing over each other to get to that SNAP IPO. The stock closed 44% higher on its first day, then tacked, off, uh, tacked on another bunch the next day. In the final few minutes of trade, I asked smart tech investor Ross Gerber, who's made a lot of money on, on things like Tesla, He's a snap bear. I asked him if there was a price that he would buy snap at. I'll pay 10 times revenue. Okay, but, but is there a price of a, for a share that yeah, you would pay? That's, what would you yeah, that's like $7, you know, or something like that. Okay. <laughs> $7, well, it's, it's uh, above $25 at the moment, but a snap bull couldn't disagree more. Eric Hippo is an early investor in tech companies such as Yahoo. He's a Silicon Valley insider, also the managing partner at Lehrer Hippo Ventures. He said seven bucks. And what do you think of his assessment? Because this company isn't making money right now. Well, correct. So he clearly should not be buying the stock, probably didn't buy the stock. Um, the, you know, the way I see it is that Snapchat is, um, has captured the imagination of tens of millions, close to a few hundred million, dollar, million people who love it, who think it's the most innovative social network, who share it a t 20 times a day or more. And if you think about it in terms of uh, two years from now, what is driving consumer technology today is social and video. There are two companies, Facebook and Google, that dominate the whole world. There's now a third company, Snapchat. Two years from now, Snapchat will be um, in, you know, a major presence in that Look, field. the IPO definitely showed that there is investor appetite for sexy, young startup companies that go public, but that lose money. That proved very dangerous during the dot-com bubble. I'm thinking UBID and uh, KTEL and all of these other names, the globe.com, where everybody was excited and it didn't matter that they were losing money. Uh, how would SNAP be different somehow? Well, the difference is that a lot of the companies that you mentioned were business plans that went public. Uh, they really had no customers, they had, no, they had an idea, and if the idea worked, that was great, but most of the time the ideas didn't work. In the case of Snapchat, uh, it's, it's an established social network. You can, you can feel it, you can, you can play with it, you can communicate with it, and um, it's very exciting to the people who are on, this, on the so, path. So what did you think when Barron's over the weekend said Snap shares could be chopped in half if they don't make a billion dollars in revenue this year and two billion in revenue next year? Can that be even done? They lost 500 million last year. Um, well, their, their advertising business is growing very, very fast. And, and you have to think about a lot of the, the advertising that, uh, that the brands want to do is, is video. Can they hit those? The, look, we're we putting these numbers up on yeah. the screen here. Can they hit those targets? I, I don't know. They, they did about $400 million last year. Can they double that this year? Absolutely. They, they can. Oh, you I say they yeah. can. Okay. Yes, they can. Absolutely. And they can go from there. People they, said that, though, about names like GoPro, which, of course, is getting crush today or Twitter or Groupon or Zynga and you look at the IPO prices of those companies and then where they are trading today and it's, it's it almost is gut-wrenching for anybody who took a shot and and I think we have a board here that we could put up about that but uh, who took a shot back then and believed what you are saying right now about snap that it will happen it's it's in the long run well, the, the stock market is not 100% foolproof. Uh, therefore, they, there's always a risk. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's, you know, I think that Snapchat is the most innovative company in its field. Look at this. Uh, yeah. Well. So Twitter was uh, yeah. 26 bucks. Today it's 15. I mean, the killer is Zynga. It's a $2 stock. Yes. Uh, Zynga got killed by Facebook. Uh, they, they were completely dependent on Facebook for distribution, and Facebook basically cut them out. i got to quickly ask you about Uber. Uber had its worst week ever. <laughs> Terrible news, a sexual harassment investigation. Then you had this video that was released of the, the founder, Travis Kalaknip. He was arguing with a, a driver who makes one billion, you know, one tiny fraction of what Travis is probably worth. It was unseemly. How does Uber come back? Well, Uber has to, you know, straighten its, uh, its ways of doing business. But it's... Does Travis it, stay? It, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, he, he needs a better management team, perhaps. He needs to listen to other people. But the, the thing is that there's a lot of bad things going on in Silicon Valley, bad governance. We have dual stocks, um, um, uh, stock structures, 
non voting in the case of SNAP, right. um, secrecy, uh, etc. All of that is going to come and, and bite Silicon Valley if they don't get their act together. We're gonna Uber remember, has to get their act together. We're going to remember that you said SNAP is, is a long term name. <laughs> we'll bring it back. Eric, thank you very much. Eric Hippo of Lara Hippo Ventures.